All right, so today I'm gonna to be discussing the differences between sealed subwoofers and ported subwoofers. And we've got both dogs here this time, so let's say hi. All right, so the differences between sealed and ported subwoofers. Uh, there's, there's some confusion on some of the things. I'm gonna try and clear some of that up and help you guys decide which is best for you. Now, I know what I prefer, and I know the reasons why I prefer them, but I'm gonna try and uh, give you guys you know, just kind of the just the basics so that you can decide for yourself because what may be right for me uh, may not be right for you. So I'm going to try and put these things uh, into perspective for you so it'll be an easier decision. Uh, so anyway, uh, I got to say uh, thank you to SVS. They have provided all of this sound equipment uh, in order for me to you know do videos like these and specifically for this video. And what they did is they sent out uh, the SB 2000s and I've been listening to those for a while and I just recently got in the uh, PB 2000s and uh, the SB stands for sealed box the PB stands for ported box so pretty simple uh, and a couple things I'll say about these is uh, the drivers and the amps are the same in in both the sealed and the ported uh, they're they both have uh, uh, 500 watts RMS with 1100 watt peak so plenty of power and uh, the, um, the drivers are proprietary. They are SVS designed and built. So they are specifically built. And they went through over 20 uh, models before they found the driver they were happy with. So they're pretty exhaustive and they're pretty painstaking in terms of getting these. So they're, they're both quality, I can tell you that. They sound phenomenal. Uh, so when I plugged them in, I noticed a few things. And, you know, when I, when I first received the SB2000s, it was one of those things where I had just come from the PB1000 and I turned these on and I noticed some differences right away. Uh, and one of those differences is that uh, a sealed box will be a little bit more sensitive for people uh, or for, for people that have sensitive ears. And I don't just mean like really good ears where they can hear things from far away. I'm talking about sensitive in the terms of, you know, too much noise will fatigue them certain, you know, like I, I don't like going to large venues because the noise, it bothers me. It gives me a headache. It, it's, it's upsetting. I, I have a, a mild form of Asperger's and so, uh, you know, it's on the autism spectrum. So my ears are just more sensitive than uh, maybe most people's ears are. And so when I first heard that, I, I contacted SVS and I told them kind of what's going on. And they said, well, you know, it can be normal for people that have never really had sealed subwoofers in their home to, to have that kind of response. So at least I wasn't crazy. So I was kind of concerned about that. But, uh, and, and my suspicion is it has something to do with the, uh, you know, the subwoofer having a port or not. Uh, you know, with the, with the driver moving in and out, you've got uh, some pressure release with the port, whereas with the sealed, you know, it creates a vacuum inside the box, which is what gives it such fast response and, and such, you know, uh, such a tight sound. So, and that's just me venturing a guess. I have no idea that may have no basis whatsoever. But what I did notice is that plugging in the PB2000s uh, directly after having the SB2000s, um, the any ear fatigue, fatigue weight just went away completely. So it, it's just a much smoother sound. Now, I'm not dogging the sealed boxes. In fact, a lot of people prefer that tight, punchy, you know, they have more pop to them. And so, you know, with kick drums and stuff like that, the kick drum sounds tighter. And so, there, you know, I, you know, I have my preference reported, okay? But there may be a lot of people that say, I really need sealed. You know, that's, what I'm, that's the sound I'm looking for. And that's completely okay, and I completely get it. Uh, a couple of other things about the differences between ported and sealed uh, is, is room gain. Now, room gain is, is, has different effects, whether it's ported or sealed. And this is where it gets confusing. A sealed box, okay, these, these sealed uh, SB2000s, they're rated for 19 hertz. However, I'll put the graphs up on, on the article on the subwoofer101.com. The sealed box will go lower than its factory specification. Those sealed subwoofers, even though they're smaller, they will go down to 10 to 11 hertz in my room, flat. 
So the flat response is just amazing. And so if you're mixing sound, if you're mixing audio, if you're doing stuff, you know, mixing songs or, or soundtracks and stuff like that, the SB2000s make a lot of sense because it's just a flat, accurate, uh, I'll say reference sound. It's close, as close to the original sound as you can get because there's no, there's very little, um, I don't know, it doesn't color any of the bass as much. Whereas the ported subs, the ported subs will color the sound to make it sound a little deeper. And the reason is that there is room gain with the ported subs, but it tends to be within the factory spec. Okay, so these uh, PB2000s are rated for 17 hertz. Okay, so on paper, it looks like the PB2000s will go deeper when in fact the sealed subs go deeper. But the ported boxes give the impression of going deeper. The depth is more pronounced because if you look at the graph, it slowly goes up as it goes deeper. So in the you know 20 to 35 hertz range, they're a little bit louder. You know, as it goes uh, deeper, it gets a little bit louder. Whereas the seal boxes are more flat, and so it gives the impression of a bigger sound. It gives. Uh, more emphasis on the bass and when you turn it down you still hear the bass so that's one of the nice things I hear a lot about SVS subs is man I can turn them down and, and it still sounds the, the sound is still full and I can absolutely back that up they, they sound great at low volumes which is not really a reason you typically buy a subwoofer but it's a nice feature and I'm not saying SVS is the only one that does that but it's something that you know it is there and it's it's a nice comfortable thing so you can turn it way down have it as background music and still hear plenty of bass it's kind of a nice thing but anyway with the ported boxes they will not go deeper than their factory rated sound so that's one of the reasons you know people kind of get upset when i immediately disqualify subwoofers from the list and it'll be like well it's there's this ported sub that has a, a frequency response of 25 well, for me, that just flat doesn't make the list. That's not a good enough subwoofer in my opinion. I wanna be able to hear the full range. And the other reason is for a ported box rated at 25, it's going to start rolling off sooner than that 25 mark. And so it's not gonna have much in the, the 20 to 30 hertz frequency. So that's one of the things, that's why I'm able to disqualify so many subs so quickly, because if it's rated for you know, like I said, if it's rated for 30 hertz, let's say, there's no way it's gonna have any meaningful depth under 30 hertz. It's just not gonna happen. If it's a sealed sub, it might. It all depends on how your room will affect it. But in general, those are the differences. So when people say, oh yes, sealed subs go deeper, that's true. But ported subs like these and like the ones on the list, they have a deeper presentation. They, they, they're more pronounced at depth and it gives you that deeper, bigger sound. And for me personally, I find that deeper sound more comfortable. It's, I can listen to a ported sub all day long, whereas with the sealed sub, I kind of get tired. And it's not, it's not an SVS problem, it's a sealed sub problem, and it's an issue. And the reason I bring that up, the reason I think it's, it's something I should discuss, is because rarely do you buy home theater equipment just for yourself. You may have, you know, children and, you know, they might have autism. So that's a real big consideration in, in that case. Uh, you know, people that have uh, headaches, you know, get migraines. Anyone with sensitive ears, it might make more sense to go with a ported sub. So that's one of the reasons I want to discuss that. It's uh, not because I'm, you know, I think ported subs are the only way to go. I know there might be, you know, 30% or even 75% of my viewers, I'm not entirely sure, who would prefer the sound of a sealed box. So that's why I'm kind of putting everything out there and letting you guys decide. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, like how it sounds, how it feels to you, um, I would say that the, you know, sealed subwoofers are a little bit more serious, whereas a ported sub is a little bit more fun. I, you know, particularly when it comes to movies and stuff, like uh, a sealed sub, you'll get more kick drum feel, whereas with a ported sub, you'll get more of that dinosaur trunching through the forest sound, it, that, that depth, that grunt will come at you. Now, one thing I'll say about that is the ported subs are not sloppy in the slightest, at least these aren't. Uh, a lot of subs are, but uh, the subs on the list and, and these subs, 
these PB2000s, the PB1000s, they are definitely not sloppy. That, that is for sure. I wouldn't put them on the list if they were. They sound very tight. They just don't sound as tight as the sealed box. So, um, you know, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to think of on this. I'm going to check my notes here real quick. But uh, really, that just kind of sums it up for me. I think that covers everything. Uh, sealed, again, are for people that, you know, if you've got a 2.2 uh, a setup, you know, if, if you've got a really nice set of towers and you, you're listening to music and you're very specific about having a flat response, sealed make a lot of sense, okay? Uh, and definitely two though. I am very adamant about you have to have two subs uh, to, in order to get the full range of the bass you wanna hear. Um, and ported subs are a lot better for movies and stuff like that. Now, is a sealed box not gonna be as good in, mu in movies as a ported sub? That depends on what kind of sub you're talking about. Uh, with these, obviously, the ported subs will do a lot better in movies. Okay, that's for sure. Uh, the sealed boxes will do okay. Like now, if you go from a typical or a more common ported subwoofer, and, you know, something you might find in a box store that's nothing special, and you go to these sealed subs, they're going to do a lot better in movies than those, you know, those typical common subwoofers. But if you go from these. Uh, seal boxes to a, a PB2000 or even a PB1000, the movie presentation is going to be more impressive. Now, it's not to say that the seal box won't still provide a lot of punch and a lot of depth. It's just that the ported version will be more so. So anyway, guys, uh, hopefully that helps you guys make this decision. I also put these up so you can kind of get an idea of the size difference. Uh, it is a considerable size difference. Uh, the PB2000 is definitely a bigger box. It's more expensive because it's bigger, because it's heavier, and because it's more expensive to ship. You know, SVS doesn't charge for shipping, so they have to account for that in their price. So uh, the, the PB2000s uh, are uh, based at $799, the SBs are based at $699. So it's a little bit, a little bit cheaper to go with the seal. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll say that uh, if, you, if space is an issue, these are definitely very, very small <laughs> sealed subwoofers. They're, they blend in a little bit easier. Uh, and so, you know, if that's a consideration, that's something to look at. But for me, um, it, it's, a, it's a matter of I want to enjoy my sound all the time. And with my ear sensitivity issues, I have to stick with ported. And I also have to say I like the ported curve, the actual in-room response. I like that emphasis in the deep bass range. Uh, I, that's just a sound I prefer. Now what you can do is if you had these sealed boxes and you wanted that ported curve, you could actually get a mini DSB 2x4 along with a UMIC 1 mic and the Room EQ Wizard software and you can kind of shape that curve the way you want it. So it's not, you know, if you've got sealed boxes already and you don't want to switch out to the ported but you want that deeper emphasis, that's an option you can do. It's not super easy, there's a learning curve there, but it's doable. And the same goes for the ported boxes. If you have ported boxes and it's just got a little too much emphasis in the low bass range, again, a DSP, mini DSP 2x4, UMIC 1, and Room EQ Wizard, you can kind of knock that curve down a little bit and, and slow it down. Honestly though, with the ported boxes, both with the PB1000 and the PB2000, I had no desire to, to mess with the, the, a Room EQ Wizard, or, or to mess with a mini DSP 4x4, or 2x4, sorry. <laughs> uh, I had no desire to change anything. I like the way it sounds as it comes out of the box. So uh, that's the reason I haven't picked up a, a, a mini DSP 2x4 yet. I, I haven't felt the need. So, you know, and, and I'm sure I could, you know, flatten out my response a little bit and that'd be fine. But, uh, you know, it, you have options. You're not completely stuck with the response you get. So anyway, guys, hopefully that helps you make your own decisions on sealed versus ported. Uh, I apologize for the <laughs> uh, chainsaw going on in the background. Hey, I can't help that today. So anyway, guys, hopefully you appreciate it and let me know uh, what you think and uh, please subscribe.